Hello everyone, this is a brief lecture to go over the first step of our data collection process and how we're going to code it and record everything. So I am in Unit 4, Lesson 2, Data Analysis. And then I'm going to start right here with the first step. So I'm going to open up this sheet first because this is a sample of what your sheet will look like at the end. So this is a sample of the first data collection sheet. The one you're going to use is slightly different because you only have three questions and this test had four. But the purpose of me showing you this is to show you how you're going to code this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to identify your group. And so in this situation, in this situation here, the identifier is the teacher, the day, and the time. So yours will be slightly different. Every semester the identifiers are slightly different and we'll go over what the identifier is during class. But each section or each class that we have will have its own sheet. I think both the groups have four classes. Sometimes there's six, sometimes there's eight. But whatever we're working on, each, each class or each teacher will have their own sheet. So once you put the identifier at the top, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put the students in chronologically by their birthdays. And so if you don't put them in chronologically by their birthdays, we can sort them and I can show you how to sort them. It's easier if you just put them in chronologically um, but if by chance you make a mistake, we can fix that. This is in Word. So you also can add rows above or below. So everybody has reported um, their month and date. And notice right here, I always teach you this, you have to have a two-digit month. And that's because 0, 1, 0, 2, these are all now in numerical order. If I ask this to sort numerically, it will sort numerically. Without that zero, you won't have them in numerical order. So once you have these in here, the next thing you're going to be doing is you're going to have to identify what they had for their answer for number one and what they had for their answer for number two. And this left side is the pretest, and the right side will be the post-test. I will, I will upload that information into Blackboard and we'll go over it in class. So if you notice, there's different coloring here. So I want you to choose any color you'd like. It doesn't matter. I chose blue. If someone gets the answer correct, I want you to color in that cell with whichever color you choose. The reason I'm asking you to do this is if you just look at the pre and post test and you just look at the coloring, you can see that there's been a difference. There's a difference in the number of cells that are colored. So you can actually see when changes occur if they're drastic changes like they are on this sheet. So you would put your identifier at the top, you're going to put numerical order birthdays, and then you're gonna fill in the knowledge question one and two, the letter that they got correct. This right here is your attitude question. And for your attitude question, you're actually gonna write A, B, C, D, and you're going to X whatever they choose because we wanna see if the, the type of movement that's occurring. Two of your choices are healthier choices on your attitude question, and two of them are unhealthier choices, and you should be able to figure that out. The other thing that happens, and I did this right here, is right here you have two people with the same birthday. So right here when you have two people with the same birthday, at this point you would use their initials. We did ask everyone for their initials, but the only reason you need the initials is if two people have the same birthday. It is possible that two people could have the same birthday and same initials, and if that happens, it happens, and there's nothing we can do about it. So then you see at the very bottom, there's people who didn't follow the directions. Here's somebody who just put 2,000, and so we just code that like it is. So this side will be the pretest side, and this side will be the post-test side. Um, and you will have both sets of data, and we'll talk about in class how to go about doing this in an organized fashion. 
there is a way, I think it's in the slide presentation where I talk about ways to do this. Um, and we'll talk more specifically when I see you in class. That concludes step one. Oh, no, it doesn't conclude step one. So here is the sheet you're actually going to use, pre-test, post-test, just so you can see it. Here's the blank sheet. You put the identifier at the top. You put the birthdays in. These are just random birthdays. You put in them both your own birthdays here. When you get to the post-test, you'll have to match birthdays so we can see who took pre and post. And then here's knowledge, knowledge, attitude, knowledge, knowledge, attitude, and this 3A you can just get rid of. That's an error. So now that concludes step one of how to put your data into charts and how to code everything.